Hey what's up you guys, it's your girl Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. In today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial creating this eyeshadow look right here. I'm not covering foundation, concealer, powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, all that sort of thing. I'm just mainly going to be focusing on showing you how I created this gorgeous dark blue green smoky eyed look using the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection Palette in Dark Magic. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. the shade poof and set my concealer with that creating an overall matte and smooth base for me to blend out these eyeshadows with okay now with a morphe e23 blending brush i'm going to go into the, into the shade sh and just apply that into my crease okay so now with a smaller blending brush this one is the M441. I'm going to go into the shade Potion and just apply that really tightly into my crease. So I'm not going to go above the crease. I'm going to see how um, this brush is a little flat. I'm going to keep it on the flat side and just apply that into my crease. I'm going to go and apply most of the product on the outer corner and as it slowly blends out the product, I'm going to gently bring that into the inner corner as well. But just try and keep most of the pigment on the outer corner here. Taking a smaller, more tightly packed blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Inside Job and just apply that right to the outer crease of my eye, just keeping it really tightly in that one spot there. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade Mojo and apply that in the same spot. Taking a clean blending brush with absolutely no product on it at all, I'm going to take that and just blend out the edges there. I feel like I want to deepen up the crease a little bit more, so taking that small packing brush again, I'm going to go into the shade Temptress and apply that to the outer corner of my eye. Oh, this one's really beautiful. Now I have small lid space and a fair bit of space between my brow and where my crease starts. So I'm going to sort of bring that up a little bit here, just on the outer edge to sort of bring my eyes out a little bit more. I'm just going to apply that dark base here in the crease and as the product blends out, I'm going to slowly and gently bring up a little bit of shadow up here. And if it gets messy, that's okay. I can clean it up with a wipe and create that sharp line. I know it looks really messy right now, but that's the beauty of makeup. You can always clean it up, take it off, remove it, reapply, it's just makeup. I feel like I want to deepen up that green a little bit, so I'm going to go back into Inside Job and apply that again in the outer crease. Okay, now taking a small packing brush, I'm going to go into the shade Power Cut, this one here. Give it a little bit of a spritz and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna take that shade all over my lid as well, almost to the outer corner, but not quite, just stopping right here. This is such a beautiful shade, 
so gorgeous and it's so smooth. It applies so beautifully. I'm going to take it a little bit further up above my crease so that you can still sort of see it even when my eyes are open. Okay, taking that small packing brush again, I'm going to redefine the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm going to go into the shade Busted and just use that shade Busted to blend that shade Power Cut into that darkness that's already there. Okay, so that's it for the top half of my eyes for the moment. I'm gonna do the rest of my face off camera because I mean foundation, concealer, that's all the boring stuff and then I'll be right back and finish off the eyes. Okay, so now that I have all that other good stuff on, um, my eyes are looking a little crazy right now so I am going to finish them off. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black eyeliner in the waterline, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. And I'm just gonna keep that on the outer edge of the eye here just so that I don't close off my eyes in the center. Now I'm going to go in with that small blending brush again and go into the shade Busted and apply that really closely to the lash line. Okay, so I had this issue when I was using the Bling Boss palette as well. If you didn't see that tutorial, I will leave it linked uh, down below or up here and you can watch it. Um, my eyes were watery for some reason in that video as well as are my eyes today so these shadows aren't sticking to the place where my tears are coming out of my eyes <laughs> so that's just a little issue I have there what I don't understand is why um, these shadows aren't sticking to moisture and yet when you wet your brush they apply better that just I don't know I'm not a scientist. I'm going to go in with a slightly larger blending brush and I'm going to go into the shade Inside Job and really buff that out under the lower lash line. You know, if I was just gonna go smoky, may as well go all the way smoky, you know? Can you see that? That really doesn't wanna stick there. My eyes are watering like you wouldn't believe. But that's not, that's not from this makeup. I've filmed about five videos before <laughs> this one. So that's probably why my eyes are watering right now. They have had a huge workout today and my eyes aren't super comfortable with contact lenses in. But obviously I can't apply makeup without being able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go into the shade Potion again and buff that out under the lower lash line even more. All right, so I feel like the top part of my eye needs a little bit more of green, so I'm going to lightly apply that shade Potion just up here. My brows need a little bit of uh, redefining, so I'm just going to quickly do that. I don't need a whole lot, I know. I have been blessed with big bushy brows. My brow bone needs a little bit of a uh, highlight, so I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. As you can see, it is very much well loved. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and apply that right under the brow. And while I'm at it, I may as well apply some of that to the inner corner as well. There's nothing like an inner corner highlight to really make a look pop. All right, so I'm gonna apply some liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got on liner and mascara. I went in with a little bit of lip liner. This one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Addiction. I'm just gonna go quickly over the top of that with this um, Target OXX Studio Longwear Lipstick that I have in the shade Gabriella. I also quickly applied some highlight off camera. That one was also the Maybelline Master Chrome that I applied in the inner corners. I'm going to quickly set my makeup. I feel like this look would be really super gorgeous with some really super dramatic eyelashes, but um, my eyes have been through enough punishment today, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> 
feel like my blush is a little bit strong so I'm going to blend a little bit of that out. I really like more of a subtle blush. So yeah, that's the finished look you guys. I really, really enjoyed using this Morphe Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. This is still new for me. This is the first time that I've used it and I absolutely love the shades in this palette. I'm going to quickly do some swatches for you. This is the shade Poof. That's a really nice all over the lid shade. This is Power Cut. This is the shade Shh. Trickery. Oh, that's really gorgeous. I love that one. And this is Diversion. This is Potion. Busted. Inside Job. Mojo. And Temptress. Alright, these swatches are really bad. But look how beautiful these shades are. And they all just come together so beautifully. It's such a beautiful color family. So yeah, that's the finished look using this palette. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All of them are Life as Kikai. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I need some clean brushes to work with. Who would have thought making YouTube videos was so hard? <laughs>